Thinking is hard. My name is Josh, and I'm here with my beautiful wife, Bailey. And today we have a very delicious re- episode for you. Episode. Episode. <laughs> Top tier junk food. Mm-hmm. So today in this episode, we thought we'd go over like our '90s and early 2000s junk food from when we were year- when we were young. Um, and a lot of this stuff is that, well, I'd say most of the stuff is still around, but there's definitely some gems in here that are yes. long gone. gone and probably for good reason. <laughs> some of them probably for good reason. Who yeah. knows what they were made from? Some yeah. questionable, questionable things. And we'll talk about that too. <laughs> yeah. so, Our experiences with those foods. Oh yeah. So, so I've got, uh, two tier lists up one for me, one for Bailey uh, mine is on the left, Bailey's on the right, and we'll just have that showing up on screen so you guys can watch and let us know your opinion on on these foods as we go through them. And also, if you don't know what the S stands for, it just stands for what I like to call just superior. superior. So it's the most amazing snack. A, B, C is more like it's good, but it's not like I, I don't really care, you know? And then D, E, F is you wouldn't cry if it left. <laughs> or you hate it and it, f know? is yeah f is you absolutely hate it yeah f is just like not it you don't like it definitely bye <laughs> so all right well i guess we want to go ahead and jump on in yep these are in no particular order it's just the order that uh, they were brought in from our google drive or whatever yep. so we gathered i think what like 30 foods mm-hmm. so we've got a lot of foods to go through so we'll go ahead and jump on in i think first up is little bites <laughs> I think these are the, what are these, the chocolate chip ones? Yeah. Oh, these were good. I think they're still around. Oh, little yeah. Little bites, yeah. No, yep. We have them at our little after school summer camp, so. Okay. Hmm. This, this, this is going to set the bar for the rest of the tier list. So, like, I'm going to go with A. I don't know about you. I'm going to go what with. Gonna, what are you going to go with? I'm going to go with C. You're going to go with C? Yeah, they're not. Okay. Like, I wouldn't mind if they went away. Really? In fact, okay. I don't mind that I can't eat them. I mean, so. you can't eat them, but I mean, like, yeah. So okay, I'm good without them. Fair enough. They're okay. Like they're they're like soft, and you can bite into them, but they're yeah. not like the best thing ever. Right. So. Okay. So next up is Rice Krispie treats. I'm about to put those in A as well. I'm just gonna kind of overlap it because we already know what that is. But what what do you think? I'm gonna put that in B. B. And yeah. It's fine if it covers it a little bit. Definitely. We're going to have a lot on here, so there's not going to be yeah. much space. We're going to have to start overlapping some of these. So Rice Krispie Treats, that's a classic. You know, marshmallow and rice. Uh, so next up is Funyuns. I don't know about you. They're they're okay. I remember smelling them all the time in, like, school lunch. Because uh. they would, they would, people would get them and, like, die by them. Like, they would yes. just absolutely love these <laughs> no, things. No, I loved, I, I loved them. Yeah, they were really good. So you like Funyuns, but you don't like onions. <laughs> yes actually yes yeah so i will put them in you a them? you can put them in a yeah oh, i gosh. really really liked these when i could eat them like but they would make your breath stink you would smell so bad you wouldn't smell so your bad breath your would breath, smell breath would smell like onions smell. like so it bad it was nasty yeah. and th- that flavor would never leave your mouth it would you could no, go all right. day you it could go very... all day and you would taste this the taste of onions yeah. all day long it was still very good though like they were just so good it was it was like a cornmeal type and onion were, ring looking thing it they look like onions but they're not actually made of from any onion it's like it's onion fun. powder yeah. it's fun onions yeah fun <laughs> funions oh <laughs> so I, i'm gonna put them in c because they're like they're okay they're all right i Mm, they're okay i'll have them if they're kind of the only chips available so next up we have fruit roll-ups i think these are the ones are these the ones that you had like tattoos yes quote-unquote that would never work uh excuse me they did work they didn't like you okay so it'd be like a picture (laughs) of a star right and it worked and you'd sit there with it on your tongue uh it worked for like three, it was good it for was like good what felt like forever and you sit in there and like drool is dripping from your mouth because you're waiting yes. for it to secure tongue oh yeah uh-huh and you stuff it in there and you sit in there and then you pull it off and then it looks just like a blob it doesn't look anything like a star well nobody told they you were... to move your tongue around the dang fruit roll up you're supposed to keep your tongue still not really <laughs> good talk during it <laughs> 
<laughs> That's why your it star looked like looked a circle. Good. It never came out like whatever the shape was on Mine the fruit roll did. Mine always came out as the shape. So. Well, lucky you. Yup. But there's still going to be a D for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll have to agree. But I'm yeah, is, that a, yeah, is it okay? It's okay. If it covers like, it up a little like bit. they were better than fruit roll ups, in my opinion, because when I would see people eat fruit mm. roll ups, I'd be like, that's a lot. I think they're probably the same size and weight and everything. It's just the fruit roll ups came with like paper and all rolled up. Um, So did fruit roll up. Or so did. So, <laughs> so did. <laughs> Oh, fruit by the foot. That's what you're talking about. Fruit by the foot. Fruit by the foot. Yeah, that's they came in the, I, in the. That's what I meant. That, that. I don't like those. You don't like fruit by the They'd foot. They'd be an E for me if we had that, but um, yeah, fruit roll ups still a D. So I know. anyway, I think I prefer fruit by the foot. Fruit by the foot. <laughs> Say fruit one more foot. time. Fruit by the foot. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. Okay. All right. Next up, we have Teddy Grams. Are these just the regular Teddy Grams? I think, but yeah, those are the cinnamon cinnamon, cinnamon yeah. Teddy Grams. So that's a basic Teddy Gram. It was, mm, I uh, think the cinnamon was superior though to most of the flavors. I'm going to give it a C. You're going to give it a C? Yeah. You can okay. put it next to it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think this one's pretty good. I'm going to go with a B for te- Teddy Grahams. If there were, they were anything other than the cinnamon ones, I think I'd probably put them in C, but the cinnamon <gasps> ones were just superior. You know what? I so maybe that's why I agree because the Teddy Graham chocolate chip ones where they, they were, were okay. white, yeah. they were so good. They smacked. <laughs> Like the cinnamon ones are okay, but the chocolate chip ones were so good. They were yeah. just a white um, Teddy Graham with like little baby chocolate chips. Mm-hmm. It was yeah, good. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, it was so good. So I think if I chose chocolate chip, they'd probably be in a B. And you got and it. we would switch. So yours would be a C if the chocolate chip. Yeah. Mine is a. Do you ever just bite off the heads and like have a bunch of them? Nope. Oh, okay, maybe <laughs> I'm not it's psychotic. Weird. Maybe it's weird. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, frosted animals, diabetes in the shape of your favorite oh, animal. Oh my gosh. I think the only bad thing about these for real was the fact that the hard pieces, like, you know, like oh, the, the little, hard little dots. Oh yeah. Um, the, what, what is that? Sprinkles. The sprinkles. The sprinkles. Like they, it was just textured and I didn't really like, I'm going to put that in A. You're going to put that in A? Yeah. It's right. so good. Those I will oh, forever gosh. remember. Remember we tried to make some of those? That didn't turn out. Well, it turned out okay. It was okay. I mean, it was just. But again, sugar, you it's know. just not, it does not compare. I don't know. I, I can't put them in A. I really can't. And I barely can put them in B. I'll have to go with C. They're not mm. bad, but I, I could be all right without them. Yeah. They were a good childhood snack. Yeah. Every, sure. You wouldn't get them too often either because your parents would be like, I mean, they for were good expensive. reason. They're just, they're just super sugary too. Oh, well, I mean. It's awful for you. Yeah, that's true. They But they were really expensive. Like they were the snack that you're like. Your like rich friend would have. Oh yeah, you'd see them and be like, Ooh. like I only got them every. I mean, <laughs> I make it sound like we're poor, but I only got them like every once in a while because they mm-hmm. were expensive. Oh, yeah. growing up, like those were like, those were it. Mm-hmm. So, ooh, the what is that? The um, what is that called? What is, the crackers and cheese? Premium handy snacks. Handy snacks. Is that what they're called? Handy snacks. Hmm. Let's see. Those are a fucking F. <laughs> oh, you don't like them. They taste like cardboard and fake ass cheese. Tell me I'm wrong. I mean, that the cracker that they're made from is super sugary. Like if you were to eat it by yourself, it tastes like a cookie. It doesn't no, taste like a right. cracker. Oh There's my so God, much sugar right. in it. You're so right about that. And also I crack like it just it's not fun. It's not fun. It's not handy. Nothing is fun about it. If oh my God, the cheese is disgusting. And then, you know, the flat, the flat ones, because there's yeah. multiple handy snacks. There's right. the pretzel stick ones. I think these those, are the, cra- the cracker These are the regular ones yeah. ones, yeah. There's the pretzel stick ones. No. Oh, I love those. Then there's the flat cracker ones where you would yeah. be like. And you had a little. You had the little, little thing. Red, little red piece of plastic yes. that yes. you had this but, little spot. But little you spoon. would. But you would try to spread the cheese on the cracker and, and the cracker tell me that would shit break. broke. The cracker would break every, <laughs> every single time. Pie. I think if these were the pretzel ones, I'd put them a lot higher. I think I would... I'm going to put them in D. No, they're just not good. Yeah, but I agree. I think I think that's... Like, yeah. if they were the pretzel ones, I'd probably put them in B or C. Mm-hmm. But because they're, like, the, the standard cracker ones, I'll have to put them in D. Yeah. Man, those taste like cardboard. So. Oh, these Ooh. yogos. <laughs> Go go yos yogos yogos those are yogos, all right those on. are fun. Yogos. So, what flavor is this? I can't tell what flavor that is. Uh, those are the berry berry berry. Um, oh, they're ba- all variety of them. pack. They're okay. all of them. So the yogo bits 
for those that oh. were unaware of them, oh. was an island expedition, island explosion, excuse me, <laughs> uh, crazy berries, strawberry slam. <laughs> okay, so I will I will say depending strawberry slam. I really only had the strawberry slam. I think so. I, I think that I did too. If not the berry and blast, I will give those a B. A B. Wow. A B. They were okay. They really still tasted artificial, and they gave you this. Oh yeah. They gave you this like acidy, um, artificial type taste in your mouth. <sighs> So yeah. you know what? Move that down to D. Move it down. I'm, I put mine in D too. They're they're okay. They like, were like you'd eat one and you're like, ooh, that's yes. Pretty good. But and when you finish two, the pack, and you go, okay, it's getting less. And it's then getting less fun. More and more, and you you're getting down the last ones. You're just like. So they don't have these anymore. They actually replaced them with something else. Well, they have something similar. You know the Welch's ones? Oh, those are good though. Those are good. Those taste like, real. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's not the fake. yogurt ones. Yeah, those are really good. But the Yogos, I don't know what they put in those because they they be i could only eat like one pack every week like one of those little bags of them yeah because they're (sighs) all right next up we have twinkies f oh so i actually did an experiment fun fact in the fifth grade we did an experiment Mm -hmm. and some of my friends actually watched the podcast so and they're from my my elementary and Mm -hmm. middle school and we did this um we did this experiment where we placed a twinkie inside a thing of water and we had done, I think oh. it was a week long experiment and it, the oil ran for seven, seven or eight days. We left it over the weekend too. So we started on Monday, went all the way to Friday, still oil is dri- like dripping out of it. Oh. And then like, so like the, the, you have the Twinkie the in the oils, water and then the yes. oils are like dripping up because the oil's lighter and than water. And the Twinkie did not like change its shape. It did not change its shape. <laughs> it was just Twinkie. <laughs> excreting oils oh my it was nasty i never have had a twinkie after that so i give it an f i don't care if it's banana flavored chocolate chip flavor i don't care what flavor it is oatmeal cream pie flavor nope (laughs) that's a no for me i do not like twinkies i and it just makes you think of like i feel so bad if, if someone likes twinkies and i'm just crapping on their favorite snack but like I just can't imagine how much oil is in your body after oh gosh, eating one yeah. Twinkie and how oh, long yeah. it takes for it to just leave your body. Mm-hmm. Like that, it's just so gross. So I got, I put them in B. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. They're bad for me. They're good. <laughs> They're oh, right. oh. Okay. Donuts. Uh, these are the powdered mini, uh, the mini powdered ones. Um, I'll give it a. What do you think? See. I don't like either of them, but if I were to, because there's the chocolate there's ones, the right? the chocolate ones, which I think are better. Yeah, you would. And so, <laughs> <laughs> I know you like chocolate. So, these were better for me, but it, me and my brother would eat them and we would be kind of like, I don't really, like they were okay, but they would leave this like gummy residue in your mouth. Oh yeah, they would stick to your teeth. It would stick to your teeth and you'd have like saliva e white. G- it was not fun. So I'm going to put it in E for the first one Ooh. is E. I put mine in C cuz I mean, okay. I would probably put it in A if it was the chocolate ones. Mm-hmm. I will eat the well, I'll put it in D cuz I'll eat the powdered ones, but I would much prefer the chocolate ones. And if you sat me down with a big old cup of coffee and uh-huh. a bag of these chocolate donuts, it's gonna be dangerous. You're gonna be happy. I'll be very happy. <laughs> All right. Oh, next up, we have are... the ch- classic cheddar goldfish. The snack that's my own bag. Goldfish. 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 All right. What do you think? What hmm. are you thinking? You know, I really hate to say this, but I'm gonna put it in. I'll put it in B. Okay, that's that's I fair. I personally think the like Dollar Tree whales. You think those are better? Are so much better. I'll put mine in C. They're okay. They're a decent snack. Like, and the pizza ones are way better too. The pizza I don't ones. Know if I've had the pizza ones. Y- the flavor blasted pizza. If I have, I don't remember it. Okay, and then they have the pretzel ones. Oh, those which are good. I didn't like those. I don't know why. I'm not a really big pretzel person, though. I'm a pretzel person. Part so, pretzel, part person. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna stick with B and stick with what i said with the whales being okay, better fair like, enough. i can always compare it to whales and whales just it tastes more baked and just so much better oh and the there's another animal but whales are better so okay oh, anyway. there's the chicken biscuits i don't think i've ever had those the what are the chicken crackers or something like that 
and they're like chicken flavored crackers. Oh, I well, I can't try those now, but uh, I'm yeah, sure they taste great. <laughs> Next up, <gasps> we have zebra cakes. Zebra cakes. What All right, think? so for anyone who knows me, these things during Christmas time when they would make them uh, Christmas tree cakes. Oh yeah, Christmas and cake. they actually had. What'd you say? Cakes. Um, they made a. Didn't they recently make an ice cream out of this? I think they did. I think a they Christmas did a tree. limited time. It was a ice Christmas cream, tree zebra cake ice cream. I'm pretty sure. But when it came out, my mom sent me in and was like, "Look, they have this," and I'm Love like, it. "Oh man." Um. So. I will put zebra cakes in A. A tier? They were so good. It was okay. like an elementary go to snack for okay. me. Um if the it was the the Christmas cakes, they'd be the S. So just because the mm. shape they they taste the same, but the shape is just the shape it makes, makes it, it better. Mm-hmm. It brings you back more Feed memories. Your soul. Well it's festive, you know. Yeah. It's at like Christmas. I don't know. I can I can't bring myself to put them in A. I think I want to put them in line with Twinkies because they're they're I think they're just a lot like Twinkies, in my opinion. Bye. <laughs> they are nothing like Twinkies. <laughs> they're so much better. All right. Ooh, <gasps> okay. Fucking S. <laughs> straight up. Straight up. Nobody can. They are an S for me. My first S, oatmeal cream pies. Oh, all right. Hold on. My last time having an oatmeal cream pie was with a friend in Jacksonville, and she had like a box of them, and I took two. Uh-huh. Amazing. <laughs> like the softest... Oh, those cookies are so, so soft. Good, mm-hmm. and it's like not good for you. Oh, heck like no. little Debbie, oh, girl, no. you be making the most delicious <laughs> food. That is the most terrible food for you, but it is just so good. So, <laughs> big if I could Deborah, have, big Deborah, <laughs> if I could have another one of those, I would. I would totally. If I could like be not gluten free for just one minute, you are not about to put them I'm in put, B. I'm putting them in B. <laughs> I prefer the. I honestly prefer the gluten free ones we get from Hail Life. Oh, well, those are there's good. A, like, the, there's this flavor you know to the what, Little though? Debbie oatmeal cream pies that I cannot get over. It's just, like, it's an unnecessary, like, fruity sort of flavor that I get from it. Hmm. And I, I just, like, I'll eat it. And then by the time I get to the oatmeal cream pie, and I was like, that wasn't terribly satisfying. All right. Up next, honey buns. So, I'm going to be I honest. I like your honey buns. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't think... I personally, and I might be completely wrong, I do not think I've ever had one of them. You've never had a honey bun? But they look so good, and I see the kids at the after school and summer camp eat them. I'm going to just put them, based off like my thoughts and how how popular these are to the mm-hmm. kids, I'm going to put them in C. Only because I don't think I've ever had them, I'm going to put them in C. Okay. And they look like they're just amazing i gotta put it in a i will say though they do not look like what they look like on the box because when you pull them out they're like watery yeah they're like the frosting that looks like it's pretty solid (laughs) frosting on there not solid is is slimy it's (laughs) slimy and you put in an a (laughs) it's so good though i'm gonna stick with it's like honey it's like it's like it it's like honey so you don't think of it as frosting i think of it as like the honey sort of frosting i don't know yeah and honey's slimy so i mean hey Next up, we have the cookies and cream pop tarts. Those specifically, pop tarts is in general, I'd say a pretty A A tier. Um, But the cookies and cream ones, what do you think? So originally, when we were going, when I was picking out the snacks to use, I was like, "Hey Josh, which which pop tart would you rather talk about?" And I was like, in my head, I'm like, "I want to do the cookies and cream." Um, And then he said, "Well, the cookies and cream." Like I I didn't even we didn't even say it to each other, and I was like, "Okay, cool. So we're gonna do that." (laughs) Um, And I think that these are. I'm gonna also give. um, mm, What do you think? Honestly, like I have fond memories of them, but at the same time, I have like mediocre memories of them. It's weird. You have like you can think of a time where you just ate them because that's all like not really all well, you had, yeah, you but had, just yeah, you had them. like the less snack that you had in the house. And then there's times where like you you, you put it in the, you woke up yes. in the morning and you put it into that little toaster. Yes. And then it came up and that first bite. So good. Ooh. So good. And Cookies you would choose and cream pop tart. Like sometimes you just choose them for dessert too. Oh yeah, you'd have them for dessert. You might freeze them maybe. I don't think I ever froze I don't a pop tart. Think I froze but, them. Yeah. But I, I, I'm gonna put it in an S. Oh, it's it's right. a shaky S. It's my first S. It's a little shaky. I'm going to put them in A. Okay. And I think that if it was the s'mores one, they would be an S. Because the s'mores one 
and the chocolate fudge is a like if y'all put the chocolate fudge, chocolate fudge. i put it f oh what you don't like chocolate fudge no i don't oh remember i don't like chocolate that much. that's right you don't <laughs> like the chalk like the only way i could ever eat the chocolate one is if i put it in the toaster and it was yeah. a barely eat because it was just so much and it also pop tarts just really taste like like artificial flavors oh heck yeah it's not a fun time <laughs> like a like i could put you in b real quick but i'm I'm gonna keep it in a just because the flavor the cookies and cream mm-hmm. is just so good the white frosting the chocolate um crust i'm not a big fan of chocolate but it's a nice mm-hmm. subtle chocolate the little cookie crumbs on top of it is really good so i think if this one's with a strawberry i put it with s <gasps> Me too. No, Strawberry's strawberry is so good. Strawberry or blueberry. I really like either the one of those. Blueberry was pretty good too. <gasps> and the cinnamon. The cinnamon mm, one was good. That one was good. It I think was, that stays see, in A tier. We though. chose the wrong one, but we chose cookies and cream. So hey, A. Hey. So Pop Tarts as a whole, I'd give an A. Yeah, Pop Tarts as a whole, A, but the cookies and cream one and then the strawberry. I think I think that the one The fruity and then yeah. the, the dirt dessert. Blueberry's okay, I'd say, I'd say. Okay, so with these... Ch- chips ahoy. We can judge them based off two things. Okay. What do you mean? So, when you get chips ahoy, you either mm-hmm. choose that they're chewy... Yes. ...or that they're hard. Mm. So, for me... These are the hard ones, though. They but are you the can, hard... But what do you think of the soft ones? So, the soft ones, I would say, are a C. The hard ones, I can dip in milk, which... I don't like milk, but I would dip them in milk and then they get soft. Mm-hmm. So for the hard ones, I would go with, man, I'm a really hard judger, but I'm going to go with B. <laughs> I'm, I'll say the same, honestly. So if it was the soft ones, I think I would go with C just a little bit because they have a little less flavor to them. Mm-hmm. Um, I would give Chips Ahoy A if the chocolate had a lot more flavor because when i dip it into milk or whatever and i take a bite of it and like you get that so it's the soft the softness of the cookie that's been soaking in milk and then that soft crunch of a chocolate chip but then when you bite into that chocolate chip it tastes like really not much at all and it's kind of disappointing yeah but it's still good it's still a good yeah. cookie it's just that the chocolate's not f- really there much and they'd always try so. to get you with like the fourth of july with like the chocolate chips being <laughs> red and blue and you're like um that looks even worse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, oh, bugles. Yo. What are these made of again? I forgot what these are made I from. Really Probably corn, but I mean yes. like... I'm pretty sure. You put them on your fingers and... Yes, that's <laughs> actually one of the things I was going to talk about. So I really only like these because you could put them on your fingers and act like claws. <laughs> and I'm going to give them a D because a D the flavor, flavor of them, mm-hmm. I just really didn't like the flavor. That's fair. They were nothing compared to Funyuns. Like, they didn't have the same Funyun flavor, but they looked a little bit like Funyuns, and they, like, crunched a little bit like them. But they, they were just not fun. Yeah. Like, They fun weren't Funyuns. <laughs> no, Beagles were not. They just I, didn't taste good. I think I want to go with D as well. They're, like, they're okay. I think I compare, like, in my head, when I think of the flavor of Beagles, I think of, like, the basic Sun Chips flavor. Have you oh, remember Sun Chips? Oh, yes. I like um, my favorite but Sun, the sun chip. Chips are just a little bit better. Yeah. Oh, my God. The Sun Chip, the tomato basil. Oh, that was so good. Those are so good. But the regular flavor, flavor, the regular flavor, um, no, it's okay. not very good. So I agree with you. Yeah. I wonder what other flavors they had for Bugles. Did you ever see any other flavors? Uh, I, I swear I had seen other colored bags, but I never got them. Let us, if you guys know, let us know. I bet they have some wacky flavors. I bet they do, but Ranch. I only have bugles no. would probably be pretty good see i'm a big fan of ranch and i just i don't know i'd maybe have one and be like Bleh. fair enough <laughs> so. Ooh, fudge stripes okay by keebler for Her- me these are a superior they're s tier they are s tier i can not with these these are so good i have found something gluten-free that is in place of these finally it's Which the Knick Knick. Oh yeah. It's they're so good and I just really like them. I like I I've had fond memories. They have the little bagged ones. And I think the best part about them is like even in elementary school when you'd have them in your bag or lunch bag. Yeah. And you'd keep them for like after school or whatever, they'd be a little melted. Yeah. And that's when they'd be so good. Because your hands be like... You, you get them all over your fingers. Yeah, but it was just so good. And again, I'm not really a big chocolate person, but they just were superior. I think they're going to go in B. 
I think they fall victim to the same thing Chips Ahoy did and that the chocolate is not very chocolatey. Maybe that's why I like it because it's so Maybe. subtle. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next up. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Not the beef ravioli. Oh, no. Ravioli. What do ravioli, you think? Ravioli, Canned ravioli. ravioli. Um, are you talking cold or hot? <laughs> you eat it cold? Have you ever eaten it out of the can before? No. You haven't? Not it's actually up, really not good. Not straight raw. I feel so bad saying that, but it's actually really good. Like, I was always allowed to use the microwave, but sometimes I'd be so hungry where I'd be like, I'm, I don't care. <laughs> 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 it was good. Ew. <laughs> it was, it was good. It was fine. Um, but yeah, no, I think I'm going to put this in. <sighs> What do you think? Mm, I don't know because are we talking all flavors or just the ravioli? Just the ravioli. I mean, we can talk all flavors, but for this no, picture, for, yeah. for this picture, it's the ravioli. Uh, I'll go with D. Oh no, I'll go with C. You go with C. C tier? feels right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they have a new hack on Insta or on um, sorry, they have a new hack on TikTok where you remember you wash them off. Oh my of the god! The sauce and then you cook them I in the air fryer. I don't think that was a hack. I think he was screwing around. Although, but did they not look delicious? But he put like honey and stuff on them, they so they looked, didn't look delicious. Oh, oh, he put cinnamon on it yeah, too. Yeah, he put cinnamon You're and right. honey on it. He tried to. Sorry, I'm gullible. So he he did he did a troll on us. Yeah, I so, mean anyway. Now if now good. if you wash them off and then f- air fried them and then like dipped them into marinara, or now you're talking. That's what I'm saying. You you um wash them off. You dip them in egg. You dip them in. Oh, crumbs. you really fry them. Then wow. you really fry them, kind of like uh, mozzarella sticks, but it would be beef ravioli yeah, be beef sticks. Ravioli. I think it would be better. Squares. <laughs> I think, honestly, all of Chef Boyardee. You know, the only one that I really, 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 really enjoyed was the mac and cheese. And I know everyone's looking at me I like, well, that. duh. Look it's it. so good. And the, the advertising for it, if I have a picture. Where it like falls off the shelf and rolls away. No, no, that's the the beef, like the beefaroni. Beefaroni, beef oh, okay. I think. No, no, no. That's chick. That's that's the chicken soup. Oh, that's is it Campbell's? Campbell's? Oh, that's right. Sorry. Um, um, I think honestly, all Chef Boy already kind of belongs in F, and I only say that because every single time I had Chef Boy RD, it tasted like iron, because of the oh. can it came in. I never had that mac and cheese. It's, no. It was bomb. It was yeah. so bomb. It honestly tasted like the mac and cheese you get at Disney World, like the regular oh, mac wow. and cheese. It was thick. It was good. So, but anyway. I, I just could never get over the, it tasted like metal to me Dang. and I could not get over that flavor. It would turn me off the moment I tasted it. Yeah. Next up. Ooh. Ooh, buddy. F. Ooh, buddy. These are an F for me. You don't. Oh, my. No, Cosmic I'll get, brownies straight to F. No, do um, do E. Do E. e? Okay. Yeah, because they're not the worst. But I will say, again, I'm not a chocolate person. These tasted so just artificial. Oh, I mean, they, they were did. not chocolate. Oh, I think they were chocolate. <laughs> and, you know, what I, what I would do when I get Cosmic brownies is I would take it because it got that cut in the middle. I cut it, you know, split it in half. And then I'd sit there in the lunchroom and like bite off the, all the little chocolate chocolate stars on it and and then i'd like kind of nibble off the chocolate frosting on it and then i'd eat the uh, the cake itself okay the brownie itself so i would make it an so entire fun i'd ha- make it an entire event <laughs> yeah he well, had i'm fun. sure it looked really weird thinking back on it i probably oh, yeah. looked like an absolute Ca- nut psychic. job yeah psychotic sir um but <laughs> it was fantastic just sitting there eating the little little colored things <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> sure, it I looks just, psychotic though. I didn't like them. That's all. There's really not much to it. I just have good. Memories. My brother, my brother would um, like my mom would buy them and my brother would take them and I wouldn't even, yeah. I wouldn't even pack them. On like, them with like a, a little carton of chocolate milk. Ooh, ooh, buddy. That's a lot of chocolate, sir. I was. I'm a chocolatey man. Okay, <laughs> these. Okay, what are these? These are the Minute, Minute Maid juice bars. Juice bars. Ooh. I think I had these once. So, they for me, are. A B, B. They are slimy in the sense of they are a B. Like they're they're not mm-hmm. superior. They're not an A. They were like slimy, mm-hmm. but they were also so refreshing, and Excellent. they were the perfect size for a kid. The flavor was good. Minute Maid is pretty natural too. I don't know about back then. I think there was a little. I'm sure, they a added more a lot more sugar. High fr- high 
fructose corn syrup or oh, whatever. Yeah. Um, but now, you know, thinking back, I'm like, those are pretty, those are pretty bomb. I, you know, I, but a slimy stuff. I think I had them once, but if I was to have them again, I would probably take the lime one, that green one there. And I think I'd probably put it in B as well. Mm-hmm. Actually, no, I think I, if I, I think the other two flavors would be okay, but I think the lime would probably kick butt. Got it. So I'll put it in A tier just for the lime one because I love lime stuff. Oh, oh boy. buddy. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. I remember oh some odd God. commercials with this. Do you remember uh, any weird commercials with, no. the, with the strawberry toaster strudel? No, it was just cute. Like, it was cute where he had a little, and like, they would have a little bit of frosting on their lip or That's something. Right. Just, like, very cute. So, the toaster strudel was a staple. I mean, a staple in, like, middle school. I would eat, and now thinking about it, and I saw the the calories on the back of this, it's 350 calories for just one. Oh, buddy. Now, as a kid, of course, you're growing, you know, you need, Probably you kind of need the, off, yeah. yeah, you need the calories. Yeah, you're definitely burning it off a lot faster than if you were to eat them in your 20s, 30s, 40s, but they were okay. Like, now that I think about it, I've eaten them. There were moments when, like you said, for Pop-Tarts, they were amazing, and then there were moments where I was like, ew. This is disgusting. Like, if you didn't cook it the right way, it would taste like like it came out of um, a medical, mm. like, plant. And you'd be like, I'm sorry. What is this? And um, the strawberry one's very good. I think that's the original flavor. And now they have ones made out of, uh, they have the cream cheese frosting, which Ooh, I don't like cream cheese good. frosting. So the, o- the OG toaster strudel, I will give a... I'll give it a C. Give it a C? No, I'll give it a B. A B? Right. Because it was such a staple in mm-hmm. middle school. You, If you cooked it in the microwave and then you did the... The, uh, the drizzle? The drizzle. No. It literally, again, tasted like it came out of a medical plant. But if you did it in the toaster oven and it was perfectly I frosted... I toaster oven. That's or sorry. A fantastic idea. Right. And it was one of those, like, you, you couldn't just pop it in like the pop ones where you like put the we'll thing put in down. The toaster. you have yeah. to actually put yeah. it put in, in the toaster, toaster oven oven yeah. or an oven if you could um but they were just they were better in the toaster oven they were crispier and nicer the frosting would melt better too like it would melt i don't know it just it tasted better because as soon as you put the frosting on it it all gets kind of soggy so <laughs> i mean if you're gonna microwave it and then you're gonna put the frosting on it's all gonna be soggy yeah. and you can't eat it so it just it just, mm. either way you got to choose which way you want to have it so so i don't think i never put it in the to- in the toaster oven because we didn't have one we had an oven but i didn't want to like wait 15 minutes for the oven to heat up and then wait another 15 <laughs> minutes for it to cook <laughs> so we'd always put it in i think the microwave i don't think we ever used the toaster for it mm-hmm. and w- i think you'd keep it in the freezer i think i think yeah. you freeze these yeah so what would happen is the outside would be burning hot and the inside would still be frozen yeah so and the outside would always be soggy too because you put it in the microwave. Mm-hmm. So, based off of that experience, I'd probably put it in B. But if I had a toaster oven or an air fryer, oh, air I bet fryer, they're popping now. That I would probably put in S. Yeah. But mm-hmm. because I only had them in the microwave, I'm gonna go with B. So fair. And you know what they kind of remind me of? They kind of remind me of um, what are they called? Cr- Uncrustables. Those are good. Yeah. Those are pretty good. They kind of remind me of that. So. Oh boy! Oh y'all are <laughs> kid cuisine. This right here. Oh man, what do you Ooh. gotta say about them kid cuisines? Okay, so you know how you'd cook it in the mic. Oh, sorry, I'm about to laugh. You know how you cook it in the microwave, mm-hmm. and you'd be like, "Oh, these chicken nuggets and oh, mac and no. cheese and the corn about to bust." They put the freaking pudding in the <laughs> middle. So what do you think it does in the microwave? explodes into your corn uh-huh. into your mac and cheese into your chicken nuggets everything <laughs> tastes like chocolate now so life is terrible <laughs> life is not going well everything tastes like chocolate like i didn't ask for chocolate to be in my mac and cheese and, co- and this, chocolate corn you know i really think that this is why a lot of our age people cannot have their food touching because of kid cuisine i think i've all like yeah i think i feel with that because i I would always get upset <laughs> so whenever, nasty. like, I would always have to, like, be really strategic with my spoon and, like, move the bits of of chocolate back into the <laughs> the pudding oh. section. Oh, my gosh. But the pudding was bopping. It was pretty good pudding. I don't, 
Like I will. It was I, super hot. It was so hot, but it was so <laughs> good. The corn was corn. <laughs> 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 that it was. <laughs> oh my goodness! The chick, the chicken nuggets were always soggy, no matter how, oh, yeah. no matter how much it'd be you watery, tried, soggy. Like it'd, be, you, it'd yeah, have like a watery, soft, like the the frying edge, the outside of it would always just be soft. It wouldn't be crispy. <laughs> but corn is <laughs> corn. Is corn. <laughs> the mac and oh, cheese was fine. mac and cheese was okay. It was okay. Yeah, it was mediocre. What do you what, what tier do you think that oh, is? Oh man, so. I would still eat everything, whether it had chocolate or not. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this shit. <laughs> you know, so I'm, oh my goodness. I'm going to put it in, man, I'm going to put it in, Um, I'll put it in D. D? Okay. Yeah. I shall be not as kind and put it in E. <laughs> I, I can't remember <laughs> when I had that that often but it was not fantastic and the other flavors weren't very good either like the spaghetti was not good mm, see kid cuisine no. it bopped back then but it was like the kids version of a tv dinner and it yeah. still was just sad so a duplicate there oh reese's puff reese's, reese's puff. puff peanut butter chocolate oh you're about to sing another one say huh? the other verse. <laughs> peanut butter chocolate flavor reese's puff reese's puff eat them up eat them up eat them up eat them up, eat them up. up. What do you think? What tier? Uh, double E S E S yes P to U double F S yes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put those in A. All right. Yeah, A. They were very good. Can't have them now, but Mm-mm. I definitely vibe with some peanut butter, chocolate. I love Reese's, but I cannot give them anything but C. Ah. Because, the first bite, like if you hadn't had them in a while, right? Mm-hmm. And you had your first bite of Reese's Puffs and they were like, they just had a splash of milk on them. They were still crispy and you got, although all, I'm sure all of them were tasting flavored the same, but like when you got your first bite, flawless. Yeah. I, but I then know. you start eating more and you're like, I'm getting real freaking tired of this. And then you have that the next day. Well, how many did you have? And the next hey. day and the next day and the next day until you finally yeah. ran out of the box and you'd be like, okay, Reese's Puffs again. <laughs> did you not switch it up with your breakfast? We didn't, uh, I don't you know. You got like one box of cereal and you just kept eating it until Probably, it was done? Probably, yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I remember. That's fair. We didn't get it very often, so. Oh, so you just enjoyed it, but then yeah. you also didn't enjoy it. Yeah. Got it. Ooh, <gasps> Gushers. Are, yeah, Gushers. So, Gushers, Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give those a B. Yeah? You know what? I'm going to give them a B because, again, they're okay. still artificial. Oh, yeah. They, they, I can't give anything else a B, by the way. My entire B section is. You can put more in there. It's okay. <laughs> But, um, yeah, Gushers. Mm. I'm going to put those in C2. They were, they're good on the first, like, pack. Yep. And then, oh, <gasps> oh and my they God, melted so them. easy. I was just they about to say. They melted so easy. And then you would open have, it up, and yes. then it would just be a puddle of, like, juice. So did you know now? you couldn't eat it. Back then when we had them, they were in a paper type opening they were they were in a, like a they little are paper in a plastic opening oh now my gosh but Those lucky the kids. paper opening it would like seep through yeah. and it would like yep. oh, yeah you know? if 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 it got too hot because it was like a wax paper yeah if it got too hot the gushers would melt and they would burst and break open and the juice would leak out mm-hmm. into the paper bag the paper wax paper bag and then after it got hot enough the wax paper would also start to like feel slimy and sticky and yep. it would it would just ruin your lunchbox Ew. so and yeah it was not a good time i think we brought those on a camping trip once and we regretted it oh yeah. r.i.p Ooh, cookie crisp um i'm gonna give those an f <laughs> an f oh man cookie crisp they messed the roof of my mouth up <laughs> so bad they messed my mouth up so bad oh they would gosh. scrape the top of my mouth the mm-hmm. cookies were not crispin no they were crispin. they were crispy they were not <laughs> too crispy they were too crispy the cookies do be crispin so the i'm gonna put them in c well no i'll put them in d because they they're really kind messed... of a lame flavor yeah yeah they were kind yeah. of lame i mean the the idea is great they got soggy real fast but too. like yeah they're they're okay I they would just mm. hurt the roof of your mouth after the first few bites like i know another one it's like um, Coke, Cocoa Puffs, 
Captain Crunch, another one. Your entire, oh, that one will screw you up. You had to go like to the hospital after eating that. <laughs> like the roof of your mouth would be bleeding by the time uh-huh. you're done eating them, them you cookie could, crisps. You could like put your tongue across the top and of your mouth. And it was raw. Yeah, you'd feel like you'd taste the rawness of your mouth. Your it, mouth. Almost near bleeding. Yes, your mouth was raw after eating some cookie crisps. <laughs> I don't know how you just, and then you'd suck it down with some milk and it would burn. <laughs> so the whole experience was ruined for me. So oh my goodness, uh, no thanks. They were a night like so. The, I say that all the cereals of that era that are that are, were super popular. I think were a nice treat. Like I would yeah. go to a friend's house and stay over and like have that mm-hmm. cereal for that day. Yep. But if we bought them at like for the house, it you know they'd sit on top of the fridge right, <laughs> for weeks. You know? Do you remember honeycomb? Yeah, I think I had that. That was kind of lame. Why though. I was gonna say why I went to all my friends' houses and that's all they had was oh honeycomb. Oh my gosh, yeah. They just I, like I felt kind of bad because I feel like their parents ate it more than they did, but mm. it was just like the the cereal that they had. It was good commercials though, or like good crazy commercials. commercials. Yeah. So next up, we got uh, bagel bites, pepperoni. I have very fond memories of these. So when I was younger, um, I really only have one memory, but it was like when I was doing like a cute little picnic with my yeah. aunt and my uncle aunt, my Annie Kay and Uncle yeah. Jackson before they had Graham and Grant I think I was like seven or eight years old and we did a picnic behind my or in my grandma's backyard and we had bagel bites um. and it was just so sweet like it was just so nice like they made bagel bites I don't remember what else was there but it was just a cute little picnic that we had so yeah what I have very fun memories I will put that as an A just because of the memory fair enough I honestly don't remember having bagel bites i feel like i've had them once at a friend's house Mm -hmm. but i don't remember any other time um i feel like our version is better (laughs) if i was yeah if we were to make them it'd be fantastic but i think from what i remember if i've even had these like the the sauce was either non-existent or too sweet for my opinion so i will say c they were nice to have but wouldn't get them myself probably Oh boy. <laughs> Oreo Cakesters. Are these still around? They are back. They are back. Oh they, my goodness. They left for a good while. Like the last time I had these, it was 2011 at a friend's house. And they had them in their their cupboard, unopened. I asked my friend's mom if I could have one. And she's like, of course, grab one. <laughs> and so I, they were so good. I'd never had them before because... Like I said, like we had regular Oreos, but all the like weird stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, my mom would get it, and then I would I wouldn't like it. So we would just kind of skip all the weird stuff, like the weird like versions Fair. of things. So what do you think? I'm gonna give them a. I don't like chocolate, but these suckers bought. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in S. S tier. They were so good. Oh my! Like they were. They just hit different and the frosting was a little bit different it was a little it was very sweet it was, though yeah. it was extremely oh sweet yeah so if you cannot handle you know i don't remember how many there were inside i think the there's two i think there was oh no so it's there was a like lot. two two little cakesters in each in pack. little package yeah it was and there'd be like six of them in the entire box if that yeah so and there, i think okay. i think for the reason of that there were so few of them and also i was not a huge fan of them in the first place I think they're going to go in E for me because they not with could the cake not get behind mm. them. Yeah. I would eat them and quote unquote enjoy them because it's, you know, sugar. Chocolate. And chocolate and Oreos, quote unquote. But like I, I still, again, got this like fruity flavor from them mm. that I like after I would eat it, I'd be like, man, I really didn't enjoy that. Yeah. It was good, but I didn't enjoy it. So... I think this is our last one. Oh my god. It's the best one. It is the best one. I'll, I'll actually expand this one so everyone can look. You it is everyone the... knows what this is. You know oh, exactly yeah. what you don't need to see the you packaging. Know... You can just see this and you know exactly what it is. SpongeBob ice cream from the ice cream truck. Oh yeah, and that's all you can get it from. There I don't think I ever saw those in stores. I didn't see them in gas stations. They wouldn't sell them at gas stations and stuff, but I think they would sell them at like Bucky's football events, but not oh. like not like big ones, not like the Super Bowl or anything, but like like high school or other events where they have like concession stands. Okay. Um and they would buy, you know, all the different ice creams that the ice cream trucks would have. Got it. And that's why I think you'd probably get these. I only had these from an ice cream truck. So I will give these, well, I'll give SpongeBob a, 
because I have no more room in B. <laughs> you can put stuff in B. <laughs> I'll put them in B. In B? All right. Yeah. B. Think, weren't they he, eyeballs? Gum? The eyeballs are gum. Or, oh. uh, gu- gum. They're gumballs. Gumballs. Oh, and I man. think they're like grape. Yeah, the flavor was weird. I don't remember what the flavor of the ice cream itself uh, was. It, like, it was not, it wasn't much. It was fruit. It was just the fact that it was SpongeBob <laughs> that we all just enjoyed oh, yeah. it. It wasn't the flavor. Like, I can't, for the life of you, I cannot tell you what flavor. Yeah, I, I couldn't can, tell you what fruit flavor that it was. It was just because it was some it was sort of fruity flavor. And the gumballs were also just <gasps> generic gumball flavor. I'm as soon as I said that, I'm getting like a, like a like a taste of it. <laughs> yeah. It's like it was a cherry flavor. You think so? It was a cherry? cherry flavor, not SpongeBob himself, but that that red part oh, right the there. Gumballs? Oh, the gum, the red parts. The red parts of him. I feel like it's it all the was same. Cherry. It all tastes flavor. the same. I feel like it's all the same flavor. But it was just so good. It was not that good, by the way. It was just SpongeBob <laughs> that makes it a B for me. I'm just looking at his face and laughing because look, they never looked like the picture. They never looked like the picture. <laughs> oh my god, his teeth are always super always looked, bad. He looked like SpongeBob. Hey, Doodle Bob mm. looks better. Doodle Bob. Uh, Where are you putting them? I, I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm going to say C. I don't know. There was pro- I, I think I got it once, and then I realized that there's a lot better ice cream in the ice cream truck than SpongeBob. Oh, yeah. I got it once for the novelty of it because, you know, it's SpongeBob. But then, mm-hmm. like, after that, I think I probably would have gotten a different thing just because I, I knew what the SpongeBob one was. I sure did, too. I got him one time, and that was about it. So, That's all I could remember. Yeah. Well, I think... Uh, look how look how moderate I am. I got <laughs> all, all, everything in the middle is is really expanded. And then you got you're actually pretty high high or, um, top heavy. I'm not you got very a lot of like, stuff on here that you like. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm not very like picky what snacks mm-hmm. I like because it's junk food. I I loved it back then, but um, you know, there's a few there that I just cannot get with yeah. like the premium handy snacks. I just can't get with those. They just were not. I would never reach for that now i I didn't really reach it back then yeah twinkies is an absolute no cookie crisp ruined my mouth you know just it makes sense for me to look at these and be like yeah that's that's definitely where those belong Mm -hmm. so i think i have i think the s tiers are there because i have fond memories of them Mm -hmm. i think that's the primary reason they're there um i think a tier is probably the ones that actually i think taste good (laughs) and are, are probably better flavored but I have fonder memories of the ones in the S tier, like the Cosmic Brownies and Cookies and Cream Pop Tarts. Yeah, I think so, S and A for me is fond memories. And then just like B is just kind of like, they I, were good. Yeah. <laughs> they were all right. You know, I could vibe with them. Well, I think that covers this episode of Top Tier Junk Food. Ooh. Our, our junk food tier. That was fun. That was really fun. We should do that again sometime that with def- some other stuff. Yeah, we could do like gluten free foods, which I know is the or like desserts or something. You know, you could always or maybe like a game where we talk about like, hey, um, what is better? Which is better, the gluten free version of this or the regular version of this? Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that ends today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. Let us know if you agree or disagree with some of our tier choices here, and. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next episode of ETC. ETC. Bye. Bye.